Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview as to how to rank in the Google 3-pack. This isn't going to be a step-by-step -step lesson. This is an overview. This is great for new people who are like, how do I get in the Google 3-pack? What are the things that I need to do to research to get in the Google 3-pack? I'm always available for uh, questions. Here's my text. You feel free. You could uh, text me at any time. But this video is just for people. I've been getting a lot of questions lately. You know, where should I start? What should I do? What are the things that I should focus on? I'm going crazy. Can you help me? The answer is yes. This video is for you. Watch this. All right, guys, what's going on? All right, so look, like I said, this is an overview for anybody who's interested in getting their business or their client's business in the Google 3-pack. Like, I don't even know where to start. Like, where, like, like, what do I need to do? What do I need to research to get my client in the Google 3-pack? Forget about how to do it. Like, what are the steps that I need? What are the things that I even need to research? That's what this video is. I'm not gonna specifically show you how to do everything. I'm just going to show you the five or six things that you need to do to rank in the Google 3-pack, all right? The first thing you need to do is you need to set up your Google My Business. Inside the Google My Business, you need to add real pictures. Take pictures of your staff, your office, any signage that you have, pictures of your staff wearing your staff shirts with the logo on it. If you don't have that, get a couple of shirts and put the logo on it. Hats with the logo on it, right? You wanna take pictures of not only the inside of your office, but also the outside of your office, okay? Take, take as many pictures as you can and, and upload them to Google My Business. Also, if you could create a video, upload the video to uh, to Google Google My Business. Give them all the information that they're looking for. Uh, reviews. It's important to get reviews of the geo, where you're located, and the keyword that you're trying to rank for. So using the example uh, plumber in Orlando, Florida, I would have people write um, reviews using the word, hey, I was looking for a plumber in Orlando. I came across uh, AAA Plumbing. I met with Tommy. He was on time. He was prompt. He was afford, you know, the service was affordable. He was fast. He was clean. And he followed all COVID um, precautions, right? Just something simple like that. But use the keyword in the, in the review. Try to use a name, right? This is a real business. Use real names. All right, so now we have the Google My Business. The next thing you need to do is you need to set up your website. Now, when you set up your website, you need to use a program either called Yoast, that's a, a WordPress plugin. What it does is it checks your optimization on your homepage, on, on your website to uh, make sure that you're using the keywords enough times and not too many times. It does a bunch of other checks, like I said, this is an overview, but you want to use a program on your WordPress website either called Yoast or we, we use one called Rank Math. Rank Math. I'll put all these things that I'm speaking about, all these different programs in the, in the description below so you don't, have to, you, know, you don't have to write it down. Then what you want to do is we use a program called Page Optimizer Pro. And once we complete the website and we have the whole website written, we use a program called Page Optimizer Pro, which really dials in, focuses in on, on, each, uh, on each page to make sure that it's optimized on the website. Now, when you set up your website, you're going to set it up in such a way where your home page is only the only thing you're writing on your homepage is your GMB category. So if you're a plumber, everything on your homepage is about is about plumbing. Is about is about yeah, it's about plumbing. Right? If you're a, a lawyer and you're and you're um, you're 
first GMB category is criminal defense attorney. Everything on your homepage should be about criminal defense attorney, not a trial lawyer and not other things that don't relate to criminal defense attorney. Everything on your homepage is about your first GMB category. Then you create other pages on your website using the other GMB categories that you'd have created in your Google My Business. Anytime you go to Google My Business and you pick different GMB categories, you need to have a page on your website for that category. Now, generally, I don't like to pick any more than five categories. I personally think that if you pick more than five, you water it down. But that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean that I'm right. It's my opinion. I don't like to pick more than five categories. So if I was doing a lawyer, criminal defense attorney, then my second GMB category would be civil attorney, uh, civil lawyer, then trial lawyer, you know, so on and so forth. All the, uh, I would pick five, I would pick five uh, GMB categories. Now for every category you pick, you need a page on your website about that category. Then you need to create keyword pages. Using the lawyer example, say, say the lawyer was a DUI lawyer. There's no category called DUI lawyer. It's part of being a criminal defense lawyer. So what I would do is create keyword pages called DUI lawyer, DWI lawyer. Um, um, I don't know, everything that has to do with all the keywords, uh, uh, shoplifting, right? All the keywords that I'm trying to rank for. I would create pages for. You can't rank in the Google three pack if, you, if you're not an authority for that keyword on your website. So it's so important to have a website. I, I get, I, I, well, not so much anymore, but I used to get people call me up and says, can't you just work on my Google My Business? Well, I can't rank you if your website, if you don't have a website or if your website's whacked out and doesn't have those pages on it. If it's all wacky, I, I'm not going to be able to rank you, and I don't take people's money, so I, I respectfully just say no, right? Okay, so you want to make sure that you have keyword pages. The next thing is you need to buy citations. There are many places to buy citations. I'll tell you right now, I get my citations from Bright Local. You need a subscription with them, I believe, to purchase their citations. Um, their citations, um, I feel, are the best because they index, they're indexed, meaning that um, Google could see the pages that they set up for you. Citations are like Yelp pages and uh, um, Yellow Book, Yellow Pages, um, uh, Thumbtack, all those are directories, those are called citations. You want to get in about 100 citations using the law example is you want to get in niche citations. So uh, find law is a directory just for lawyers. You want to make sure that you're in find law. And if you're a plumber, there are plumber uh, directories that you need to be in. But you'll be able to find them uh, using a service like Bright Local or Web20 Ranker. Right, you give them the industry and they'll give you, and you could buy 100 niche citations. If you can't afford those two services, there is um, somebody on Fiverr, her name is Virtual Girl, Virtual Girl 2010, and you need to make sure that she indexes the citations that she uses, but let her know your industry and she'll create 100 citations. I think it's about $60, all right? So you need citations. You need citations. If you want to rank in the Google 3-pack, you need citations. I would start off with about 100. Now you need local backlinks. What do I mean by local backlinks? Well, for example, you have the local schools, the little leagues, different types of civic organizations like the Chamber of Commerce, local newspapers, local blogs about, you know, you want to get your website on those pages and you want to link back to your web to your website so for example if um, using the law example if your 
website address, uh, if your website name is Smith and Smith Law, that's a brand. You want your link on the Chamber of Commerce to say Smith and Smith Law. They click the link and it comes back to your homepage. That's uh, a brand link. If you want to promote your DUI page, you'll say visit Smith and Smith Law to learn more about DUI. Uh, uh, the DUI link would now be active. You just click the DUI link and it comes back to your DUI page. Like I said, guys, this is an overview. I just want you to get the idea of how to do it. And then you could break down each portion of that and say, hey, what did he mean by citations? I didn't even know I needed citations. How do I get citations? Learn about citations. Learn about local backlinks. Look, learn about how to optimize your website. I'm going to tell you something. If you, you're a plumber or you're a lawyer and you wrote your own content, you all right, I'll go out on a limb. You wrote it wrong, <laughs> right? If you didn't use an optimization tool to optimize your content, you wrote it wrong. You the keyword stuffed, meaning that you used the keyword too many times. You didn't use it enough times. You, you didn't use the geo, meaning uh, the location where you're located, or you didn't use it enough times. Like I said, guys, overview. If you wrote the content yourself, you probably wrote it wrong, and that's why you can't rank. 80%, in my opinion, of ranking in the Google 3-pack is the content that you have on your website. If your content's all whacked out, you're not going to rank in the Google 3-pack. That's the most important thing is that your content is correct. Each page is structured correctly and it gives uh, the user, the person doing the search, what they need to uh, research you know, what answers they need to do if they if they came to your page looking for DUI law, for example. They looked through your website, they went to the DUI page, and they learned about that. It had the best content about that subject. Right? All right. Now, you'll notice on this chart, I put traffic. And traffic kind of wraps around this whole thing. So you have your Google My Business, your website, your backlink citations, right? But it's traffic now that's moving the needle. What does that mean? Somebody does a search for Orlando Plumbers in Google. Um, they go to the map section. They click view more. They scroll down to the 10th place. They see Johnson's Plumbers. They click that. They tap to call in the Google My Business. If enough people do that, Google will say, wow, um, they were getting one or two clicks a month. Now they're getting, uh, you know, three clicks a week, right? Not 30 clicks a day, but three clicks a week, five clicks a week, somewhere around there. Uh, let's start moving them up. It, apparently, people are looking for Johnson Plumbing. And, they, and you start moving up in the ranking. I can't, uh, I can't really say any more about it, you know, than that. That's just the idea, right? That's an overview. This is how you rank in the Google 3-pack. This is how you do it. So what I would do is if I was just getting into it is naturally I would watch my videos, right? I would watch... Uh, uh, Chris Palmer has a lot of good videos out on ranking in the Google 3-pack. Ruan Marino has a lot of good. Uh, William Jones, William Jones, right, has a lot of good videos about ranking in the, in the Google 3-pack. And uh, just do your research. And it's going to take some time to learn about how to do it if you'd like to consult with me. Or if you'd like to hire me, great. If you want to do it on your own, at least I'm giving you a path. These are the things that you need to research, right? I hope this video helped. Like I said, it was just an overview. These are the things you'll need to perfect to rank in the Google 3-pack. In life, you either have time or money. You need to have one or the other. You can't, you, you know, if you have the time, you do the research and, 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 and you do it yourself. If you have the money, you have somebody else do it, right? But you're robbing yourself. If you have the money, 
and you're going to take all this time to do it because it takes a long time. It takes a lot to, uh, there's a lot to research. There's a lot of rabbit holes to go down to realize that they didn't work. There's, these things didn't work, right? So I'm just giving you an overview as to what you need to do to rank in the Google three pack. If there's anything that I could do, you know, my, my cell numbers here, feel free, shoot me a text. My email address is brettmoletta at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. Uh, it's in the description below. If you hung on this long and you'd like to give me a five-star review, the link's in the bottom. If you'd like to contribute to my channel, I have a donation link. We accept uh, cryptocurrency as well. And the most important thing in this video is that you're good to your family. I make these videos really just as a, as a, uh, a way of helping people, but I would be, um, I would be short-sighted if I just gave you a video on SEO, right? I have to give my message, and my message is to be good to your family. It is be appreciative if you're still married, to be appreciative of your wife or your husband. Be good to your kids. Clean up around the house. Take the dog out, right? Do all the good stuff because uh, uh, everybody's trying real hard. And, and uh, your family is the thing that's most important. So I just think it's real important to say that, right? It's not said enough in this community. I think it's real important. So please be good to your family. And guys, we'll catch you on Friday. Be good, guys. Thanks.